Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Wednesday. It's 33 degrees. It is sprinkling slightly and there is white stuff on the ground and I'm being fast because it's 33 degrees. Yeah, I've got white stuff on the truck and on the on the ground, but it's not snow. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, but there are four baby chicks in there. So they have done, the, um, this batch has, they're done hatching and I've got four and I, I raised the, uh, the heat lamp so that I could film them and now I will lower it back down so they are a little bit more comfortable. But they all seem to be happy, healthy and doing well. Yesterday, those four baby chicks came out of this incubator. Oh, look at that, there are eggs in there now. So yeah, what I did was I took the four baby chicks that were done hatching out of the incubator on the left and then of the eggs that were in the big white incubator, this dude, uh, there were 24 of the, uh, well I'll call them third generation olivegers. So I put those 24 eggs in here, I cleaned it out and got it ready and uh, put those 24 eggs in there. And then the five eggs that are second generation olive eggers, I put those in there. And so that means that this big white incubator is empty. So I might have to do something about an empty, uh, empty incubator today. And I do want to point out this is not the best practices of incubating eggs. Uh, you should not be shuffling them around from incubator to incubator and that's probably one of the reasons why I do not have a successful hatch rate to this time. Uh, so yeah, don't do what I do. Don't do what I say. <laughs> do it the right way instead of uh, shuffling eggs around. Um, I'll learn my lesson eventually. It just, yeah, 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 it, yeah, I know. I know better, but I'm doing this anyway because it's more convenient at this time. I have seen a few snowflakes here and there, but it's just right on the cusp of freezing weather, so it doesn't know if it wants to snow or rain. It's mostly just wet stuff, rain, no snow. I think I'd rather have snow than this wet stuff, but, eh, whatever. And, uh, we're supposed to get more snow or and or rain, uh, today, more rain tomorrow. It'll be up into the 40s tomorrow, so all of this will probably be gone. And I, uh, I planned ahead, kind of. I went into town last night to get supplies just in case I was, uh, you know, frozen in here for a few days. So I'm all good. And I had to get chicken feed. And that, yeah, when, yeah, yeah, you got to get chicken feed when you need chicken feed. Okay, so let's see if the cats are, st <laughs> are still hibernating this morning. Can't blame them a bit. Grumpy. Grumpy. Bob. Hey Bob. Bob. Fifi. Fifi. Hey little Fifi. Alright. At some point tonight I will be putting these lighter green eggs in the incubator. Uh, there are 38 of them. If we get another egg or two this afternoon I'll throw those in there too. Uh, those are, these come from hens that are first generation olive eggers. So Mrs. B and her crew, they are out there with Wild Berry, the Wellsomer rooster. Uh, I am breeding these to hopefully get more of these, uh, the darker olive or the speckled. Yeah, or the speckled. So these eggs are the ones that I am trying to go for. Um, I didn't have a great success on the hatch rate of the f of the other batch that I did of these, so I'm giving it, an, uh, it another try. The one thing is, there's only a 50% chance they'll the offspring will lay a uh, green egg. There's also a 50% chance they will lay a brown egg. So yeah, there's that. Uh, got a little gambling out here. Uh, the first time I tried it, the gamble paid off. Three out of three hens were laying the darker green eggs. But we'll see what works this time if, if, if any of them hatch. 38 more eggs in an incubator. 
and 21 days from now we'll see what we get and then uh, I've got 24 eggs in there they're due to hatch on Friday I have five eggs in there and they are due to hatch on Friday so here we go again oops it got dark today was one of those days where I took a nap about three o'clock and I woke up after eight o'clock yeah I, I guess I was exhausted that happens once in a while and then yeah and then my sleep schedule is all kind of wonky and here and there so this is gonna be a late night video I might I'm gonna be up for a while I might as well edit it and get it out so yeah baby chicks only four of 24 uh, originally in that incubator that is not a good hatch rate for me and I'm learning come on up Bob say hi Bob say hi Bob Yep. Um, there are a lot of different factors. Some of that might have been while Barry was not getting around to all of the hens. And so that, you know, I went from 24 to 10. But then why did only four of the 10 hatch? Um, and a fifth one did pip, but it, it just did not make it out. Um, that a lot of times is uh, incubator related. I wouldn't blame the incubator though because those are not the, the ideal uh, Bob's bugging me that is not the ideal situation for an incubator uh, that room is not heated so the the temperature in there is fluctuating and it's been really cold here the past few days and so that's not really ideal for those uh, incubators they they want them to be in a room that's like a constant you know 65 degrees so there's not a lot of fluctuation of temperature in the room and then it's easier for the incubator to do its job so I would think that that's probably part of it is that um, it's in a room that you know some days it's been up in the high 60s and now it's getting down into the into the 30s so that's uh, probably not helping um, all right but uh, yeah if at first you don't succeed throw some more eggs in the incubator and do it again <laughs> So, okay, yeah, I've got some due to hatch Friday. I'll be anxious to see how those do. And then I've got a batch that I just put in today. And I've got another batch once those hatch on Friday. Um, I usually give them a day or two to finish hatching. And then I'll be ready to go with some more eggs in one of those incubators also. Uh, yeah, it's uh, probably not the best time of the year. Uh, especially when I don't have a heated room, I probably should buy a heater for that room. And but I don't want to. I hate spending money. I just hate spending money. So okay, that's enough of that. Now I'm uh, now I'm wide awake and it's like 9:30 and almost yeah, almost 10 till 10. So maybe I'll get this out before midnight. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Take her easy, everybody. Hope you are warm and safe. Say good night, Bob. Say good night, Bob. Bob, say good night. Dude, put me down. <laughs>